Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Paul, an international medical graduate. In today's video, I will show you how to apply for the USMLE exams. You can apply for the step 1 first and then for step 2 CK or vice versa, it does not matter. But it is recommended step 1 first, then step 2 CK. In this channel so far, I have shown you how to get an USMLE ID, submit application for the ECFMG certificate, and submit form 186. You must complete these three steps if you want to apply for the USMLE exams. If you haven't checked those yet, please click the link in the description below. If you find these videos helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel, like videos, share with your friends, and turn on the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. This will also encourage me to make more videos like this and help growing this channel. Now let's get started. A complete exam application consists of the online part of the application, student or graduate status verification by your medical school, or any other required documents. In today's video, I will only show the online part of the application and in my next video, I will discuss about status verification. Till then, please stay connected. So this is the website. You can check the link in the description box. Click on online services. Then click on interactive web applications. This will pop up. Log in using your USMLE ID and password. In case if you forget your password, click here and follow for the instructions. Once you log in, you will see this begin a new application. As I said earlier, you must complete submitting form 186 and get it processed by the CFMG if you want to apply for the exams. Otherwise, you cannot apply. Here you will see a few informations regarding sending performance data to your medical school. Please go through this. Same here. Once you are done going through all these informations, check the box at the bottom and then next. Now it is confirming that you have intentionally selected this checkbox. Click OK and then next. Physician's license in the United States. If you ever been granted a physician license in the United States, click yes, otherwise click no and then next. Now you have to select an exam which particular exam you want to appear. There are no restrictions that you have to appear step 1 first or step 2 CK. You can appear in any order. I will select step 1. Please ignore these red lines. You may not see these lines while you are applying because I took all these pictures long ago and then click next. Here at this point you will see ECFMG has provided an application identification code. And this is because for any reason if you cannot complete the application in a single sitting, you can use this code and continue. You do not need to start over. Please take a note of this code. Here you can also see eligibility period. That means when you are actually planning for the exam. So choose one and then next. Now you will see test delivery surcharge. It depends on the regions where you will appear in the exam. Please note that you do not need to pay surcharge if your test center is in the US or Canada. Select your testing region and then next. This is about in case if you have any documented disabilities and need to request test accommodation. Select no and then next. Now it's confirming your name. If it is correct, select yes and then next. It's asking your contact information, including phone number and email address. If you have US Social Security number, put it here. Or if you do not, then put any other national identification number you have. Asking to confirm your gender and your native language. If you scroll down, you will see citizenship option. It is also asking for whether you are US permanent resident or green card holder. Then fill out your current passport information here and your ethnicity. Present employment information if you have any. Any postgraduate training information if you have in the past. Now ECFMG reporter subscription. This is something if you subscribe, you will be getting important information regarding the ECFMG certification process and about entry into graduate medical education. And it's completely free. Check this box here and then next. 
Now your medical education status, whether you are a medical student or a graduate. Medical school information. Here first you have to select the country of your medical school. Then you will be able to see list of medical schools and then select your medical school. You do not need to put your medical school's address. It will automatically appear in this box once you select your medical school. Regarding dates of attendance, here I would encourage you if you are not sure about those dates of attendance, please contact your medical school. You also need to put information about internship and government or social services if you have any. If you attended any other medical schools other than what you have mentioned earlier, this is the place where you will add. Otherwise, click next. In case if you have transferred your credits from other institutions, this is the place where you can add. Then click next. Now clinical clerkships. You have to add all your clinical clerkships here during your medical school. Now one thing I want to mention here, at any point if you cannot complete the application in a single setting, you can always save and log out. Your application will remain safe for 14 days and you have to complete your application within that period of time. This is to show you once you save and log out and then log in again how it looks. Once you log in again, you will see this. You can start a new application or work on your saved application. If you work on saved application, it will take you exactly where you left last time. Now it is asking for medical school diploma. Choose from one of the options here that best fit you. Then your name on medical school diploma. At this point, you can also apply for the USML step to CK if you wish. Or if you want to continue on current application, click on continue. Now certification by the applicant. Please go through this. Scroll down, check the box at the bottom and then next. We are at the very end of our application. It is showing the application summary. Here if you see any incorrect information, you can edit by clicking this sign. Same here, make sure all the informations here are correct. If you scroll down at the bottom, you can either save and log out or check out and pay the application fee. The current fee is 975 US dollars. Once you submit your application, the next step is status verification. I will discuss about status verification in my next video. Till then, please stay connected. That's all for today. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with your friends, and turn on the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. This will really encourage me to make more videos like this. I greatly appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much for watching.